Hey folks, this is Dome Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. Got a flurry of activity going on right now. Um, I've gone through work the next morning after uh, after last episode, and kind of worked through this a little bit. They're they're just gonna build it like crazy. I I had to come up with a final at least perimeter layout because they're not gonna leave it alone. <laughs> there are not that many projects left to build out there right now, so this is getting all their concentration. Um, let's see. Kind of sealed in over here, so I want to hit and flag these guys to be torn down. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there should be no problem with collapse over here. That natural roof should hold, but I don't know if that holds true, like, right there. That's one, two, three, four, out that way. That's five that way. I think we're okay. I don't think we have a collapse going on over here. This has got to there. That's got it. I don't know, maybe one space right there. Ibex meat is rotted in storage. Uh, 17 degrees, everything's frozen. Everything says won't spoil, though I have a feeling there is still a timer going on in the background that's not telling me. It's just going incredibly slow because, I don't know, that didn't make sense. Unless it sat out here. But yeah, there's three cooks going crazy out here. There, there's, there's nothing going on out here. In fact, Shantigo is the only one here that can haul. George and, and Michael don't haul, so they're kind of useless as far as restocking their kitchen. So, Shantigo, you're just going to have to spend time reloading everything over there and just making sure that it's as full as can be. Let's toss a bunch of that in, and, and what else will let me? Rice won't. Potato will. Can I get any berries out there? No. Okay. So, you, you get all these, these benches restocked. And, uh, yeah, but the main entrance, that's what uh, Diamond was calling the Great Hall. I kind of like that idea. So, we have the potential, if we choose to, to drop a, a couple of walls in here. That's pretty well symmetrical. So, we could do something in here if we want to, a little separate from here and here. So, think about that. Or, instead of walls... Um, Instead of actually putting in walls, we could leave it open and put statuary through here, as Joe Chang was, was suggesting a few episodes back. This is basically just a statuary all through here. Diamond is saying, let's get flowers near the entry. So I don't know if that's... That could be something inside as well as outside. Could be. Um, we could designate these, these different spaces in here with different kinds of flooring. Um, David was suggesting marble flooring. Maybe it's going to go in, you know, unfortunately marble flooring for this game is flagstone or brick. So it's a, it's a color, but it's not really the right texture. But we still could flagstone floor an area and then go off, to, you know, from marble to granite or, or even for the first time, we haven't used the uh, limestone anywhere. You know, we were, I was afraid to use it at first because I didn't want them grabbing from, you know, walking through the, uh, um, uh, the gauntlet to go and steal a piece. But we've got plenty of it available now. So, in fact, let's just make that available to us right now rather than just talk about it. Let's set you up as your marble, okay? Let's make limestone available in here, uh, right there. And let's queue up a bunch of it nearby. Is there anything close to this? Rather than heading all the way down, most of our marble is... Oh, we're, we're reloading this as limestone. Okay, that's critical. Yeah. So we got to get all that limestone brought back out here to get our defenses back. Alright, let's grab a whole section of this. Let's double click all that to haul. And over here there's none. we got some up in here though. And sure, we'll set all this up to haul as well. And up in here, there's a little bit more. Okay. So let's... Oh, there's some over here that might be kind of, kind of convenient, too. We'll set all these to haul. Okay. So they're all potentially... Hello. Oh, I didn't see that message. Woohoo! Compacted machinery. Thank you. Okay. Well, little by little, we're, we're finding little, little pockets and veins. But, um... So Diamond was suggesting some kind of flowers near the, the entrance. So, Diamond, now that you're seeing this... And you'll see hopefully more of it flesh out as we go through the episode. Um, where are you thinking? And let's just kill off this stockpile of steel. That's not going to be there anymore. But we want to we want to put something on the ground out here. 
unfortunately I can't put uh, grass. It's not it's not um, um, colonial charter for for banished. So um, I can't put grass squares out. I can put green squares out, green carpeting, but we can put a nice uh, sandstone patio. I mean, if we want to get into sandstone, we do have a building or two to tear down with sandstone walls. There's no sandstone on the map, but what are you? Your marble wall, okay. Um, we've got sandstone available to us. I haven't seen any slate. I don't think there's any... Well, what, what's this wall down here? Uh, missed it right here. You're slate, aren't you? Ah, you're a slate wall right there. I don't know what's inside this yet. But there's a little slate available if we want to put a, a slate pathway through here. Might be kind of interesting to... Where am I at? Boy, I get lost in this map. There I am. If we were to slate from maybe just around here, a big square for, you know, one square in around this and then out there and a statue and a statue and a statue and a statue and then flowers heading into it a path a diagonal pathway of flowers heading in i don't know so all those sort of little details if you, if you know if anything uh, is feels important to you enough to jump into the into the comments and and leave me some notes um diamond was saying cloth chairs in here so a, a lobby like look would be good um, and also kicked around the idea of displaying our, this guy. Maybe this is where the orbital power beam targeter gets displayed. That and, and the doomsday rocket launcher. So that anybody visiting us realizes, don't mess with freedom's drift. Yeah, too bad we can't diagonal any of the furniture. You know, as, as you're walking through, uh, somewhere in here, Passing by the displays, you know, the, the, the displays <laughs> of, of various weapons and technology. I don't know. So, something to think about. Um, also, we need to... Th oh, I guess I can be running this, huh? I get to talking and forget that I'm doing. Um, we need to be thinking about a journey soon. Loading up some muffalo and get going. Who should go on it? Now, not just... Me, 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 and throwing up your hands. I mean, strategically, who should go on this? So be thinking about that. Lots of different ways to look at that. We could send our our, our six best guns so they can be a small army all in amongst themselves for whatever gets thrown at them, still leaving a good quantity of people here to defend this monster base, which is getting significantly large and full of value and wealth, which means that the attack coming in whenever it does is going to be significant. I'm hoping that we can wait for one more raid, get it done, and then we've got a, a decent timer ahead of us before the next event while well, Boris pregnant so that it doesn't really matter who goes, they can get there and get back in time. So they have to be able to defend themselves out there and whoever's left has to be able to defend all this. Which, you could say, the, the six best guns here left to defend all this might be a really good idea, too. So, do we grab... Is there any reason to send melee on a trip? Anybody coming against us from any experiences I've ever had is going to be ranged. I mean, it's going to be a regular um, raid. Which is, typically, once in a while you get a melee raid. Not very often. And then you're going against melee characters, which you don't want your melee characters to do. You want them to go against ranged characters so that their their shield belt protects them from anything and they can just go bop on somebody with their plasteel uh, mace or something. So you kind of want to pile up our melee brute squad against individual ranged characters. So be thinking about the logic of it. Who should go? I mean, I know Oath Knight's going to write in and say, send in three, send out three miniguns, they can take care of anything, and you know, 90 bullets all shooting simultaneously, there is an argument there. It's kind of, uh, yes, there, a lot of those are going to miss, but there's a lot of them, so those that don't miss are going to do some damage. Um, so, we'll see. You know, figure out amongst yourselves, what's the logic? I thought I just heard a gunshot go off in the distance shouldn't be Tomislav I just saw somebody was idle you see that right there it just went away as I as I looked up we even had that message happen 
Uh, pause. Who? Handy. Oh. <laughs> Handy, you're you're not normally. No, you don't typically. No, that's. Mm. Okay. <laughs> kind of funny seeing Handy digging her, building herself in. That's that's not um, very common. You're probably not very happy right now, huh? Let's get you to get that built. Break down granite auto door. Where at? Right there. Oh, that's right. I realized I put a regular door right here. That's what I'm doing in these kind of places where we don't enter very often. But these places, I want to be able to move through quickly. So I do need to get that torn down. Um, in fact, Andy, why don't you tackle that one instead? Come on down here and tear this part. And we'll get a regular door built in there. Hopefully we won't need it completed just yet. Because there's a few little pieces of wall left over here. Because we don't have any... Com well, we do have access to components soon. It's just a matter of getting them over there. Klaus failed working over here. Okay. Um, waiting for all of our components there. So I need nighttime uh, uh, sea stars. You are consuming a fine meal. Great. Nighttime miners. Need to get you out in this area. That's a long way to go. So after you do that, what are you? Your compact machinery. It, it just looked like a blank square. Sea stars, when you're done, you're going to go to here, and then there, there, and there. That's four chances to get out this far. Hopefully you get at least to the last one before you time out, and then you'll be able to work backwards. Okay. Um, Miss P is not up yet. All right. That took care of that. What do we have here? This is all going to be torn down. There's some components there. There is that. It's 1900. Klaus, you're where? You're grabbing a meal. You're taking a meal. Okay. Lots of doors. And you're building flooring. Yeah, let's get that done. I've been looking through these these floor tiles for so long now. It's so annoying. Um, we probably won't end up using these rooms, but uh, at least we'll have gotten them done. And you guys quit just like that? It's 20 hundred. You gotta go joy. You don't need to go joy. Okay, good. Um, spend the rest of your night tearing down these. And Klaus... You do need to go joy. You're actually going to go rest. Hmm. Okay, I guess so. Who else do we have that can work right now? Eric's in kind of rough shape. He's taking a meal. Great. David is just getting up and using a telescope. You don't need to. Why don't you come over and do this? And while you're at it, pop over and do these two also. These four. There's a bunch of extra components that are going to pop out of that. Handy, did I... I did send you directly. I didn't hold the ship down. Good. Okay. So that's David. And I don't need to tear the graves up just yet, but that's get, that gets rid of all these. We could use the granite blocks. We have three doors to come into this area. We have three doors to come into this area. We're going to get this one in there. It wouldn't hurt to get one more barrier right there. That seems like it'd be wise. Um, and that would be an auto door. Yeah. So, auto door, I guess there. It's going to be wide open here, so it's nothing to align to. And then a granite wall right there. Okay, so we'll seal this up. A little more protection from out and around here. It's going to be a continuous run through here, and we're not sealed here. Oh, no, we are. Pig just opened the door. Okay, so that can be all one run, just like, you know, these are all one run. So that's not too much distance to worry about bulkheads. But ceiling is off from whatever happens here and or here, out here. I kinda, it's kind of a little more vulnerable. Something drops in on us and they've got access right in. So, hmm, yeah, okay. And then that one there blocks off our turret chase, which will eventually be set up. You are a turret, which goes there now as well. Yeah, okay. All right, so there is that. Temperature outside is... There you are, 46. Still kind of cold at night. Yeah. 
Um, so that's all the deconstruction. I don't need another builder for now. That's where the gold was, so that's why that's wonky in there. That did get done, and that did get done. So we're ready for an orbital, an orbital trader, which we haven't seen in a long time. We haven't. This guy is still working, right? Yep, he's still running. Okay. Huh, well, because I haven't noticed it for so long, it's hopefully going to happen soon. I'm just looking over at my timer. It's only been 15 minutes. Wow. Sometimes I get to an hour and can't believe it. it. It feels like it's been a half hour. Right now it feels like I've been talking for a long, long time. <laughs> and I've only just started. Probably because I don't really have a goal right now. We're kind of waiting for the next raid to hit. Meanwhile, we're just getting done as much as possible and making sure everything we've got is working like meat. We're finally starting to thin out a little bit in here. So I assume that the pigs were still set for uh, important and for preferred so this should start dropping meat off from this side into this side and or from up here into there you are a normal wild boar's pregnant so normal to preferred to important to critical that's kind of the the, the flow um animals I haven't been checking out checking you guys for a while oath knight is a nun they're there um going through here wild boars Kibble zones, that's all correct. Rolling down through here, that looks good. Those all look good. Let's check out the dogs. Everything here is fine. Yeah. Trained right there. Okay. Still haven't got the... I haven't seen the squirrel in a long time. I'll have to go check out the squirrel. But through here, everything's correct. We are trained up to here. These guys are still too young to train. Okay. Squirrel one, where are you? You're over there. I don't even see it during the day. I've seen the rat many times, but... I haven't noticed a squirrel. I guess it doesn't seem so weird to have a squirrel inside the, uh, the kibble zone as, as much as it feels weird to have a rat in here. Dogs are all finding beds. Time to go to sleep. All of these beds we put out and they're all going to be claimed and there'll still be pigs or something sleeping in the freezer. Yeah, and some of them, they make a really long run to go drop off stuff. Why are you doing... Oh, you brought a whole bunch and you're topping everything off. Well, thank you, Anatoly. And here comes Mohawk to, to finish the last of them there. And then we'll see if if he falls asleep. Ah, oh, look at that. Just perfect. Yeah. And, and oh, you got extra. And now you're going to have to go and dump that somewhere, huh? <laughs> Where? Over here? That's full. I guess you just got to take it all back. Huh. Interesting. The game lost track there. Huh. Um, we're not really ready yet to seal this off and open that up. It'd be convenient to be able to get them out of here, in and out of there, but not yet. So how are we looking here? I think that is an interesting shape. It gives us kind of a grand porch patio to the grand hall. I'm still not real sure how to enter I'm thinking taking these two out and these two out and changing the flooring from maybe here up and there and up so that it all starts to flow out. I don't know. How do we how do we do this? As we get the next four or five episodes and get to see more of the development and you know, keep tossing new comments in. Uh I didn't set that for wood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Copy and paste. Yeah, we, we don't need uh, we don't need cloth out here to power our generators. Though if we could, we've got a lot of it. What am I hearing? Ah. Whoa. Whoa. Raid! It finally happened! And it's a real one! Ah. Okay, we've been waiting for this. They took a half a year to finally nail us for kidnapping those three. Hmm. And they're going to use sappers to tunnel around our defenses. They're up in this direction. How many? What, when, what was the white over here? No, okay. I thought that was a people. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I double click, I'm going to get various, aren't I? <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 or 20 if I miscounted in there. 
And coming at us are assault rifles. You have got an LMG. There is an SMG. No, that's a machine pistol. What have you got? Incendiary launcher. Okay. No doomsdays in there. Uh, sapper, huh? Machine pistol. So whoever's doing the mining is also... Well, there are right there some frags. Okay. So we do have one load of grenades in there. You've got the incendiary launcher. And there's somebody hiding in there. With an assault rifle and a machine pistol. And an LMG. Okay. We can handle it. We just went to bed, unfortunately. Okay, so they're coming in. Sea Stars, you're protected, but I still don't want you there. So let's get you back in here. Um, your melee, you will eventually do some good, though. Needs, you're good for a while. Yeah, let's think this thing through. In fact, I tell you what, just to save us some time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do the the roll call here. See who needs meals, get them sent out to various places, and I'll tune back in in a moment. Okay, red alert and two battle stations, everybody. We've got a raid coming in. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to do. I mean, we're running right now. I'm, they're coming from here. But they're going to... Let's read this so it doesn't flash at us for the next 30 minutes. Group of Outlanders from the Arathotna People's Federation have arrived nearby. So, yeah, these are the folks that we kidnapped from and expected them to hit us imminently. And then imminently was last summer or fall. And so it took them a while to get here. Looks like they want to use sappers to tunnel around your defenses. That's what's got me wondering. What does that mean? I mean, at one point... Somebody tried to do that, and they just banged their head against this for a while till they finally got through, instead of just you know going around the corner. So that wasn't well done. But there was really no good hard target over here at the time. This wasn't there. I don't even think this was here then, or this. I think we just had this structure right here, if I remember right. So they, you know, that whole thing may have been different had this been here. They may have worked their way around and gone for a hard target. They've got a hard target. It's right here. And that could hurt us. And do we have a clue? Moving. They have no clue. No, they're all just moving. Um, still moving, moving, moving. Okay. We don't know yet. But just in case, I decided to send several of them out into here. Out into here. As well as our normals along the uh, the western wall here to uh, kind of be ready in case they split and some go through and some go down or just what they're going to do. I'm trying to anticipate um, what our next move is based upon some highly motivated individuals who actually have a reason to attack us. Let's, let's, let's work with it that way. We do have, I know I'm all over the place, hopefully you're not nauseous, um, we do have these guys available to us. We've got two of the plastic improvised turrets that we used on the bugs down here. Actually, I don't think... Yeah, I guess we did kind of use them. We did finally get to shoot through this doorway. Is there not a door there? There's not a door there because we rebuilt it with a regular door. That one too. Granite door. Mm, we'll leave that one. But all the rest of these I do want uh, regular auto doors. Uh, regular granite doors into the chases, which we don't go, but... For these doors, yeah. Let's get this guy. Uh, cop Bill Copy, yeah, that goes there. But anyway, um, so we've got our turrets available to us. If they do, decide that this is the way in. And if they do, we've got access from here now. So we need to figure out how to use this. Of course, we're wide open from here. So if they come busting through one of these sets of doors and have the run of the place, they're going to have the run of the place. Which means these two plasteel turrets need to stay. And wouldn't even hurt to turn these on soon. Except we've got to be careful not to shoot ourselves in the back when it happens. So we won't do that just yet. But yeah, if, if they do run the river. And we start taking up positions here to shoot around corners. We have to realize that as they overrun us. We're going to walk into our own turret fire. Trying to get out of there. Oops. So. Mm. Okay. So I've got. A couple heading to, three heading to here, I think. Two heading, 
uh, Handy and Radar, who have the, whatchamacallits, the miniguns. I've got them heading off to get snipers, come down through, out these doors, and see how far they dare go out to do something, depending on where they actually go, or whether or not we can come in behind them with them or something, I don't know. So, trying to stay flexible this time. Let's see what happens. So, quite a few of them need meals. Most of them were just getting to bed, so they're 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 tired and cranky. So, I'm hoping a meal, sending their meal bar up, is going to, you know, give a boost to a, a lagging rest bar. Send that up to there. Maybe we can eke a little more out of this for a little bit more time before that rest starts to throw in the negative 8 for tired and the negative 15 for exhausted or whatever it is right now we have a negative eight for hungry but that's going to go away for Catherine real soon all right so we're do we know what we're doing now we're still moving okay we're still clueless let's give this a little more time and is there any music in the background there's not okay so it's not just me but you guys are heading down you're not going across you really are okay um Oh, that's right. That's right. I blanked that out. Manuela and Bill, I did send into here to see if they can do some damage in case they do that route. Um, let's just pick somebody to get into this one. I didn't, wasn't sure that it was even going to be needed. But David needs. You're in great shape. I've got the melee brute squad heading for here to either go out this way or go out this way. David, let's send you into here. It's undraft, and you go there. And there is a not loaded, let's make sure it's truly not loaded, and a high explosive shells going in. Um, this one is shooting for high explosives and it's not loaded. And let's just make sure there's no little thing there. You are also going for high explosives and you have one in there. And Manuela is ready to shoot what? There is, okay, right in this area. So, 16 seconds. Let's just try to keep track of that timing. I don't want to shoot our, our generator. <laughs> okay, let's see how this plays out. Um, who was heading? It was Sangri and Klaus, right? They had to get dinner. They had to get dinner. They're over here. And there's one more, Gnarly. I'm pretty sure was heading that direction, too. Gnarly is also heading over here. He has a sniper. They have assaults. And I didn't want to run everybody up here to try to find snipers. So hopefully the two assault rifles will do some good. But you guys, where's our grenades? Who's our gr grenadier? Not there. Zoom in a little. Boy, I don't see him. All right. There. There you are. Lilith, of course. Lilith has the grenades. And do you have a goal? Granite auto door. Mm, you're moving. You're wandering. You're wand. Oh, we're all just waiting for that grenade to go off. Uh huh. Okay. All right. I get it. Manuela, you're up. Let's. Unfortunately, we can't take out Lilith. But let's take out somebody behind Lilith. Maybe that would work. Countdown: four, three, two. One, stop. Take out me, my, M-I-E. Set forced right there. And launching. You're way off target, way off target, way off target. Didn't do any good. Hmm, okay, and we're already doing some serious damage in here. All right, who we got moving this direction? We're still getting there. We had dinners to deal with. We had... It was handy. It was radar. They were going to here. They're not there yet. Gnarly's trying to get there. And Missa P is heading that way. Sanger and Klaus are heading that way. Okay. Little by little. Got to distract these guys. We don't have the components to rebuild this. So I need... Now I build. And Bill is 3.2 seconds away from... Some random person that I set just so they didn't end up shooting north to the, the last siege that we had. Let's take out Nag. And David, you are set high explosive 14 seconds. You are going after 
Uh, well, randomly for now until we'll see what that really does. But give me back to Bill. You, I need this one. All right. And launching. It's already set. Fire foam shell. No, I clear it. I, 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 I. Well, we're gonna we're gonna mess up the area. We'll, we'll make it slippery for him again. Fire foam shell. What is that? <laughs> oh, that would have hit too. Z, you are so lucky. Fire foam shell. Okay, here's high explosive. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, David, let's see if you can figure it out. <laughs> Zero seconds left, and you're going after. Sure. Well, if you come short, let's just see if you can nail it. Just nail it. Here we go. Coming in. Firing. Here it comes. Oh, oh, it's looking good. It's looking really good. Don't come short. Don't come short. Oh, that helped. But it didn't do any damage? How did that not do any damage? <laughs> um. Okay. Okay, gnarly. You get get to there. Do we have... Handy. You're going straight to there. And I'm looking for a radar. Radar. Not there. Not there. There. Did I mess up the orders? Radar is still kind of getting there. Okay. So let's send you right behind Handy. So we've got Gnarly there. We've got Klaus and Sangria working their way into somewhere. Let's back them up for now until we figure it out. Okay. So that was David. That means um, Manuela is next. You're now actually firing. Didn't get to aim you. Hmm. Just in case I still can't aim you, I'll do that. But I'm pretty sure it's already on its way. Boom. Maybe not. Maybe it worked. There's in that dead zone in between. Oh. Went beyond. Okay. So now it's Bill's turn. Okay, Bill. You've got to, uh, <laughs> you got to make up for last time. Do me good here. That's a good target. That's a good target. Send him in. At the time it launched, he was right here. Oh! Oh! We've got... We've got, uh... Sniperage going on here. Um... That's handy. Klaus... Go there. Um... You stop, Klaus, there. And you... Do I not have you? Sangria? Why can't I click? Taking kibble. No, 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 no. Right there. That's good. Okay. You are LMG. Your range? Uh, gear. LMG range. 25. Versus 31 and... Boy, I've got to refresh my memory. Sniper is 40... 40. No, damage. Range, 45. And these guys, the assaults are something like 31 or 33. 31. Okay, versus a 25. We can outrange you. The question is whether or not you will go beyond our range, and you probably won't. These guys haven't got it figured out yet. And we've got an incoming, right? Let me look at the numbers again. Bill's reloading. You're 15 seconds away. David, you're 4 seconds away. Let's get you, but I feel like there's one that was on its way. Um, you seem to be walking that direction, so I'm going to say that's a good spot for you. But right here is important and handy. Your range is there. Let's take you to there. Let's see what you can do without shooting through Gnarly's, between Gnarly's ears to, to get slap a shapper. Shaper, we'll go with that. Okay. All right. Lots happening here. Klaus, you've got range. Sangria will too. And here's the here's the target. The, the mortar missed, but we got a hit here. 
you are moving and take a aim. What are you? You're, you're already too late, so you're going to hit or you're going to shoot. You are an LMG and you're, you're lucky. You could be lucky. Okay. Um, next one coming in is Manuela. Nine seconds. Shooting right into the heart of it. Sure, that still works. Um, Lilith, what you doing now? Using frags on marble wall. Okay, that's that's fine. You just you just hit that wall for all you've got. Thank you very much. Handy, I need you to take out Shaper. I need you just to right between the eyes. There's a little cover there. In fact, let's. What have you got? You got only 27% chance. Sangria, you got a 4% chance. Klaus. That tree is really in the way, but you still got 31. Gnarly, you got a 30. Shaper, 13, 19, 17. <laughs> Cannot hit. I had to figure what that 91 was. That's how good your sniper rifle full. No, that's how good her sniper rifle is. Okay, so you've got a little bit of a chance to hit somebody here, kind of. And you had a lot of shots, but nothing hit. Okay, I need everybody else to take him out. Otherwise, we have another incoming. Yep, right there. Mental break risk of course. Gnarly? <laughs> I saw Gnarly jump backwards there just to dodge that bullet. I'm real impressed with that. Um, you got Your nose was shut off long ago. That's always going to give you a little pain. You didn't get a meal somehow through all of that. Oh, I know why. I had to get somebody there with a sniper rifle fast. Even if they weren't going to last the battle very long, I needed to get a couple shots off right at the beginning. So we're going to let you go a little bit longer, then maybe swap out with Klaus and then take off. That sounds good. So far, you're the only one that seems to know what's going on. You are wandering. Okay. And you are now Marble Wall. You just love that Marble Wall. How are you doing? You haven't hit the geothermal generator yet. Cool. Well, don't worry about it. We'll hit it, okay? You, you don't have to do anything, or we'll drop a mortar right in the center of it. Not a problem. Um, who? David's launching. That means that Manuela is next at 7 seconds, and Bill is, is 23 seconds away. Manuela, your next shot goes into somebody who's still further away. That's good. Okay. So, David's shot's coming in. You are, are timing... Oh, you're starting to line up for your next set of shots. Klaus, I'm a little worried about you. I really am. But I'm going to drop you down a little bit further. Sangria, come down alongside. Gnarly, you continue where you are. Handy, you continue. Did Radar get here? He's on his way. Okay. Radar, you're dropping in right into there. Let's see what you can do from there. Okay. So, um, mortar thingy coming in. Oh, 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 that's not a good frag there. That's going to do some damage. Right there. Okay, you guys got a hit. That's where they were. Missing, missing, missed. But you got missed too. How you doing over here? You've got a neck, torso, left lung, left leg. 12 hours till death. But Atkins may have just figured something out. Oh. Alright, 84% left there. If we can do that for a little while. David's... Boom. Was that this? I think that's what I missed. There was a big boom right there. Yeah. Oh, hit Atkins. Good. Oh, there is another one coming in. And you're... That didn't help. <laughs> I don't know where you were going now, but uh, uh, hopefully it's, it's not right there. Oh, miss, miss the generator. Miss the generator. Please miss the generator. Keep going. Go boom right now. Boom. No, don't. You stop. Okay, well, that helped, but it didn't help gnarly at all. Oh, because Atkins got involved, and Atkins, um, no, nope, can't shoot worth a, worth a darn. Okay, so it was a lucky headshot. No, 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 you got a good helmet on, though. So you got you got your jaw shot. Mm, that hurts, but you're really going to be cranky now. <laughs> We're going to go beyond just a uh, minor break risk here real soon. And Sangria took it. And... You hit right there. Sangria health. You got a... Almost lost your right second toe. 
Mm, no immediate danger, though. You can continue. Handy, you... Hmm. Yeah. Okay, radar's on his way in. Everybody else is just kind of sitting here going, um... Oh, what happened to the gauntlet? Don't they know? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, what I worry about is I kind of scanned through this while I was doing roll call. We got some fast walkers and joggers in here, and if I get the whole crowd out here, we may not get them all back in. Hmm. But this strategy isn't quite working. And I did have Daniel and Oath Knight sleeping longer. Maybe it's time to get them... Now, well, Oath Knight, you're getting closer. Why don't you draft and come up and grab a meal and head to where? I mean, the minigun is... is it's it's not going to do any good in a battle. It's just not. I mean, you're going to spray all over the place, sure. But... Uh, okay, we'll try it. Daniel, you sleep a little bit longer. I may really be depending on you to finish this thing. Um... I can see where this is definitely going to be two episodes. Where I'm going to really wish that I could just sit back and stare at it and think about it for a while. They're just going to keep pounding this. That's the danger of having power outside of the base because there was a thermal vent there. This probably, in hindsight, probably should have been over here or something. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, Gnarly, how much longer dare I? You're not even registering here. Interesting. No bleed, no bleed rate. It's shot. It's not gone. Hmm. Okay, who's that? That's Klaus. Let's see what he does. Okay. Hit there. You. Torso, left arm, no immediate danger. Klaus, can you fire here? Do you have a name? You do. Sangria, you're heading here. This guy's zero. This guy's got zero skill. So, there's a we really want this one gone if we can. Um, you are wandering. You are wandering. Okay, nobody else really knows what's going on yet. Handy, I'm, I wish I knew who you're aiming at. I'm guessing it's this one, but I don't know. You can hit 18% chance. You can hit 27% chance. It looks like you're aiming up here. So I'm going to stop you. Reset you to make sure you're aiming down there. Gnarly, same... Well, you're almost finished, though. Let's get Gnarly one more shot. But where are my mortars coming in? I kind of have to keep track of all that over and over again because my targets keep moving. And high explosive, 15 seconds. You are reloading, and you are 25 seconds. So 15 seconds. I don't know who's going to be where in 15 seconds. I don't want you going after the same one to find out that that one is over in here shooting at the panel. Like, bad luck here, who's just wandering in there. So, I need my 15 seconds to be going after... That was there? That was there. Yeah. Let's send you after this one for now. Can I just set a target? Can I say shoot here? I can. Okay. I'm used to setting after a person or after an object, but didn't know I could just target the ground somewhere. Okay, that works. You just keep pounding right in there. And let's get... Let's just do that. You can pound a little bit further below that, right down in there. And David, you can pound a little above it. Right up in the ground right there. Okay, that way when we shoot short, we be sure to do, you know, nice and even damage to everything inside the structure. Yep. Okay, radar is heading into position. Handy is still going to be taking her shot. Gnarly is ready to destroy Atkins. Missed. And missed Klaus. Gnarly, do I pull you out? I think I do. Gnarly, go over here and then drop your, your sniper. And... Who's shooting right now? Sangria is. Okay. So, Sangria, I want you to drop your weapon right now. 
Uh, actually, I'd rather Klaus did, but I don't want to disturb his aim. Let's let Klaus get off one more round. Okay, Gnarly, can you get down there before you take another bullet? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, good. Now, Klaus, you're just starting your aim, so drop your weapon. Uh, what do I want here? I want gear and drop. Gnarly, I want you... to equip assault rifle. Oh, he got hit again. That's a that's a handy radar's getting here. Good. And gnarly, I want you to not eat. No, don't eat. Don't don't, don't eat. <laughs> Klaus, equip the sniper please. Thank you. Gnarly. Um There. Haul that in. Uh, haul the fine meal in. Go drop it off. Go get a meal over there and then jump into a hospital bed. And we'll get you treated with whomever is available. And down here available still is Daniel. Who doesn't have any doctoring, right? No. But is needs as good as we're going to get. Draft you. Come grab another meal. And let's get you to where... Hmm. I guess just out here is backup. And let's go ahead and make the commitment over here. Vliss, let's take a chance with you. Let's run you to there. And Michael, let you're all in good shape over here. Let's run you out here too. Somewhere over here. And we've got Shantigo also in good shape. All of those are decent runners. You're heading off into this direction too. I don't know what to do with you once we get there. Your range will probably end right about here. So I don't have any good cover. So I'm not sure that it's wise to do that, but I can run them back if I have to. But Gnarly is going to be taken off. Sangria is still not in too bad a shape. Um, your toe is 1 out of 10, though. You're about to lose that toe. And Klaus, you're going after a sniper. You guys, that's Sappy, who's now wandering away. No. That's Sappy and that's Shaper. Oh, okay. And you are ready to aim at. So Sangria, you're going for here. Who's that bullet destined for? That was destined for Sangria. Who got a gunshot to the torso? And still in no immediate danger, but here comes another round of LMGs. So, take cover. In fact, let's just pull back. Good. Klaus, can you do it from there? You can, but let's send you to there. Actually, right here. And Sangria, let's send you one f one along the side. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> Sangria, I may have to get you out of there. The crowd's coming in. They are. In fact, have they given up? They may have given up here. Where's our our grenadier. Where's Lilith? Lilith, you are Lilith. Boom, boom. There, 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 there. Lilith. Grenades. Grenades. Bishop. Where is Lilith? Uh, when someone who has grenades just kind of vanishes, you, you start to worry. Lilith. There's no bodies laying on the ground. Bad luck, Nag. Lilith, there you are. Your grenades are hiding. You are wandering. They've kind of given up. I feel like I need to get these guys out of here. Handy, you want so badly to shoot. Head to here instead. And... No, I don't like that either. Hmm. Both of you, pull back into here. I don't know what's going on. This whole group... Get back into here. Gnarly, you're already moving. Oath Knight, you were going... No, Daniel was going this direction. He's going to grab a meal and, first, and do it first. But Oath Knight, you are still thinking about that meal yourself. And heading now to... Uh, i got to reset you completely. Alright, grab that meal. And head over to... Here. So we figure out what's going on. Okay, so... Everybody's got orders. You're moving. You're just yeah. You're you yeah. 
drop the meal, abandon it completely. Gnarly draft, go here. And he's making her turn. Sangria's got another round before she gives up. Oh, we have, we have, okay. Actually, it's looking pretty good. It's looking for here or right in the center of our generator. One or the other. We've got shots coming in. Sangria, make the turn, get to walking. Don't hit the generator. Oh, hit Sangria again. I think Sangria's done, but let's see what happens here. I hit almost, but not quite. Okay, Sangria, I think you're done. Do that. You're going to go take a fine meal. <laughs> Health. Death in 19 hours. Yeah, what did that last one do to you? Health. Uh, left eye is old. Torso, left arm, right foot is not good. And then second right toe. Yeah. Okay. You need to hobble in. These guys are doing what? They're just kind of wandering right now. You are the zero skill. No, you're a six shooting and you really like it. Okay. Um... Andy, stop there. Radar, stop there. I don't think these trees are going to really give me much cover, but curious. In fact, Radar, if you go to there. Okay. You're all kind of zoning in on, on Sangria, I'm guessing. And they're going to get through and out, and you guys are down, thumbs downing each other, and, and we're taking a shot at Sangria again. Darn. Zappy, you are just moving okay so you really want to hit and didn't okay but they're all heading down here Lilith what's your your goal in life you are up here now and you're just kind of wandering around forgot all about your uh, what you're doing okay so I wonder if now that their the script is done for destroying this if everything seals up will they head to the gauntlet if we give them reason to you guys, do you have any kind of a shot? That's a radar. That's a handy shot. Missed. Okay. You guys, Fliss, yeah, you're way down over here. We're going to have to randomly get there. Once Sanger goes away and nobody's over here anymore, you'll be the nearest target. Otherwise, um, shots coming in should still be fine over there. Okay, radar, what you got? Missed again. Okay. Handy, you're going to be next. And Sangria is still trying to get in. Klaus, let's send you over to here. Actually, to there and then there. And Gnarly, you're going away. Sangria, you're going away. i got to get a doctor down there soon. I'll go through the doctor soon to see just who's going to break the first and get them heading back into the hospital area. So you guys are the show right now. And you guys, there's no rocks out here. It's just trees. Well, let's, let's go for that tree and see if it does any good. Shantigo, you're going for that tree. Michael, go a little higher to that tree. I don't know that those immature baby trees are going to count as a tree yet. And that may be too close. Uh, Michael, actually go right there. Actually, all of you. Bliss, back to there. Shantigo, right below him. Um, yeah, Michael. There. Shantigo, there. Actually, there. All right. They're coming up into our range. Am I correct? Not quite. Okay. Well, they're running a circle here. Then Bliss will go for there. Shantigo, there. Michael, there. All right. Down here, you guys are fine. You're still finding targets. You're still trying to get through that door because I haven't unpaused yet. And if I can just get them moving, we'll all go back to the gauntlet and be, you know, really happy. But they're, they're, okay. Well, we have some excitement coming in. That's feeling really low, really low. Uh, hopefully you hit early. Hit really early, hit right now. Oh. Well, Sappy did get something. Health. Yeah, did you got a torso, right arm, and stomach? No immediate danger, because you know you can get your stomach shredded and have no immediate danger. Oh, that was so close, radar, really close. Handy, you're getting close. You guys still don't have a shot, and they're not hit. They're heading away now. Let's go a little deeper in. There, there, there. Boy, it's hard to hit the right spot. Okay, you're doing that. 
Shaper, you keep wanting to do something. Klaus is going around. You know, I'm going to leave Klaus here. Klaus, go back to that door. Let's just see what you can do in there. Shaper, though, is just randomly moving. Okay, we got shots coming out of here. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, we hit Vass. Shantigo, what you got? Oh, hit Vass again. All right. And... Mm, do I get more in this area? These guys are going to get overrun so easy. I just know it. Though we do have a place to sneak into, kind of. This door is gone. <laughs> we don't have a place to sneak into. We have a door to get into, though. They'll chase here and then bang on the door or run all around. By the time that gets done, hopefully they've made it to here. I just don't know how many more I want to throw out there. I'm thinking longer range rifles. So diamond, rabbit. Rabbit, you've got really good aim and your rest is... is shot rabbit go to go to here for now we'll get you coming out here Tomislav I don't want to risk my doctor like that I just don't mm -mm. it just doesn't sound right okay it's you guys random mortar shots and seeing if Lilith has uh, regained her, her her mission in life Lilith I'm expecting to see you here, and I'm not. There, 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 right there. You've, yep, you've, you're back. You're going to throw grenades at, at Shay. Good job. What just happened? We took out, we took Vay's, or Shaper's head off. I mean, it's, it's gone. And you freaked, everybody started to run. There was some fleeing going on, wasn't there? Well, who ran this way? It was you? You are... Now, for some reason, you you went running. I guess the game knows of a grenade hits, they run. It was just wandering and then ran really quick. Um, health. You got your... You have a scratch scar in your left leg. Mm, okay. And we're... Yeah, we're, we're doing big time damage here. Mm, okay. Well, what's next? Klaus, you're heading for there. You guys are not any immediate damage or uh, danger yet. Ah, we're coming in. You know, now if we hit our generator with this guy, we'd actually do us some good. But we didn't. <laughs> and we didn't even get close. <laughs> but these three are actually holding the uh, the battle here. Boom, 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 boom. There's another one down. Oh, we got to get Lilith. We got to get Lilith. You are 47% gone, or left, and you're 68% left. Okay, well, Othonite hasn't made it yet. You guys no longer have anybody, so let's go there, there. And you guys are still, no, you're, you're kind of done now, too. You are the scary one. There's a lot of range in a bolt-action rifle. And a lot more accuracy, right? Than a sniper? Yeah, maybe not. But it was—they don't shoot as quick. But they—they've got a—they got a punch when they hit. And you are wandering over toward our peoples. And you outrange everything. So, Shantico, I just have a really bad feeling about this. I do. Is anybody else there? Can you use it, Vega? You can't. So, for instance, if you were to hit, you cannot hit yet. Boom, now you can. 2% chance. Okay, we can maybe do this. You guys are in range again. Right there. Boom. Dude. Okay. Oh, nice shot. I just hate for the whole battle to be done right here. But we got this wonderful gauntlet over here, people. Get over here. Hmm. With that, you're heading in. You're... Ah, see, that one just ran. That one's running. So they do recognize the danger. Are you fleeing? Doesn't say fleeing. But they do recognize the danger of the grenade. That's interesting. I hadn't noticed that before. I just thought whatever rate they were walking toward, they will walk away. But nope. You're coming in. 
and you are hitting quite low. Probably not going to do any good. All right, you guys have got nobody to aim at. We need a hole over here. Um, do you think you guys can, you know, put a hole in the wall right there? That would really be helpful. Just take out the door. That'd be good. No, I'm not sending somebody in to open that door and flee. <laughs> or am I? Um, no, no, I'm not going to. No, no, not going to do that. <laughs> okay, Klaus, let's go to here. And Oath Knight hasn't made it down here yet. Where are you at right now? You are heading for there. Daniel, where did I send you? You're on your way out to here to drop into here to rem so I see you and notice you. And I guess it's time to grab some more folks out of here. Out of the safety of our gauntlet. That was the whole point of the gauntlet. Diamond. Let's get you to here and we'll think about things. I think you've got a good run speed. Tomasov's the last good rifle, huh? Kind of is. Slow run speed. Decent run speed. Slow run speed. Slow run speed. Decent run speed. Kaya, let's go get an assault rifle on you. Or do I get... Tell you what, come down here and equip a sniper. And then work your way out to here. Okay, let's see where this mortar hits. I heard it. There it is. Yeah, it's... Yeah, mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Ah, we're going to have a shot here real soon. Michael, do you see her? She's right there. Gotcha. And you've got a what? That's a pump shotgun. Ah, no problem. I like the shotguns on enemies. Don't like them on us, but I like them on enemies. Radar, you have a, you have a target. And in just a second, Handy Will as well. Let's make it a little bit easier and send you to right there. Now, we do have an incendiary launcher somewhere to be careful about. Where is that thing? It's not on the ground over here. Oh, is it? No, that's the LMG. Where is that incendiary launcher? I don't remember the range on that thing. There? Charge rifle. Uh, there. Long sword. What you got? LMG. Shiv. Okay, charge and machine and auto and LMG and machine and auto and okay LMG there you are gear what is an incendiary launcher again it does a range of 24 so I'm trying to think what it was we were comparing that to the LMG was a 25 okay similar to an LMG it does damage of 10 but it does it for a large area and only accurate at touch otherwise it's pretty rough because it doesn't have to be it's just got to hit close and cool down of four seconds warm up of three seconds and that's it okay so you've got the pump Shotgun. That doesn't help me. You assault rifles at range of 31. That's what I need to know. So 25. They got to get to these rocks to get to us with the incendiary launcher, or kind of out to here. Okay. You got to get well into range, and it takes you three seconds to shoot. Okay. That helps a little bit. Boom, 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 boom. And with that, you are still just wandering. They're not that smart this time. Boom, boom, boom. And you just took a bunch of damage. Okay. And sniper's coming in. Okay. Well, <laughs> Kalian said, um, mm -mm. no, um, I'm out of here. Health, no immediate danger. Leg, leg, arm, torso, foot. Okay. Well, it's acting like the battle's out here. That's really not what I plan to do. But that's what's happening. So I'm going to stop it right here. We've seen how ineffective my tactics have been so far. Realistically, what would you do? When our protection's here, we can kind of get over here, but we're kind of out of range. They're, they're, they're well hidden behind our, our own uh, walls over here, gladly destroying our solar panel. And once they destroy these two, with the grenades, they could very well just go for here next. Or here. Or there 
They don't have to find the easiest way in, as long as the frag grenade is alive. Am I getting that right? As long as there is still a grenadier, they will blast their way through. When that grenadier dies, will they then go for the, the open road in, which is right here. No doors. That's going to be my guess, which means we need to take out Lilith, who is very well protected. And... Uh, yeah, okay. Not that these are accurate anyway, but sure. Let's everybody target Lilith and just see what happens. Take out Lilith. And if we have another, you're at... I think you're launching right now. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go ahead and wait for that launch to, to happen. Just to see what's going to happen here. But then I'll hold off and let you guys throw in some ideas at me. But I'm going to set everybody for Lilith right now to see if once the Grenadier dies, not that you can you can snipe a, uh, anybody with a mortar cannon, but uh, sure, we'll, we'll play with the idea. Let's let another round go, but danger-wise, there's nobody down, there's nobody here. Michael still got a shot, and Will 4 is done. Okay, so do we swap anybody out? Radar, make a run for that corner. That's where Diamond's going eventually. Did I not send her? Oh, I sent Kaya. She's heading there eventually. Okay, but let's get a, a sniper up there. And Klaus is not really gnarly. Did I? Dude, I'm sorry. Go, um, mm. yeah. Go go to that hospital bed. I, I, I lost you there. Mm, okay. Um... Yeah, that could be bad. Your health, you're no, you're in no immediate danger, at least. So if you break down here somewhere, you won't bleed out on me. Yeah, okay. So i got to think about it, getting a doctor down this direction. i got to go through by four or five of them and, and pick the one that needs the break the most. And we've got some yayo in here, of course. And let's let that last mortar run come in. Waiting for right here. Boom. There it goes. Going after Lilith. Almost have an opening here. Oh, thank you, Lilith. And missed. Lilith, take that door out for me. Once that happens. Once that happens. Handy will have a shot in. Shantika will have a shot in. Radar through Michael. Through Michael's head will have a shot in. Um, Michael, let's take you to there. I think I like that better. But that's the uh, that's the little puzzle to solve right there. So give me your thoughts. What would you do? This has been Noble Rambler. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye.